pump again. Thought I'd uh, time to get out of the stream and do something a little different today. I got this uh, metal detector. Now I know what you're thinking. Grandpa don't do high tech. Grandpa don't spend money. Well, I didn't spend the money for this. This was a uh, Father's Day present from the family. They know I don't spend the money for this either, but I really wanted one. Uh, it's a Garrett Ace 250. It's a fine tool for what I wanted. I basically want something to go through my tailing piles, checking for nuggets. And uh, we're at this uh, site here, Ringgold Gap, they call it, up in North Georgia by a town called Ringgold. That so happens I got relation lives up in this part of the state. And uh, thought I'd do a little metal detecting, but I'm not going to bore you with going along and watching me go. And then you listen for it to go beep, beep, beep. And because uh, we know it works, okay? So we, we, we proved that. So I'll just turn it off. But I got some really interesting stuff I want to show you. I got some things you can buy online cost you about $15 a piece and uh, I didn't think that was necessary on here I've got the all-weather cover I made this out of some pieces of velcro and you know them bags that you get the comforter in at the big box store it's a heavy plastic it's kind of sewn seams on the sides well I cut one of those up I probably got enough material to make 15 of these all-weather covers so I'm set for a few years and uh, and I wanted to get a coil shield so that I don't wear the coil out scraping across the ground even though you're supposed to hold it an inch above the ground at all times it doesn't always happen trust me so got myself some PVC tubing and some zip ties good old zip ties if you're not using zip ties you gotta be using duct tape so I put the PVC tubing on here and I held it in place with some zip ties and it does the job. And then I've also got like a $10 brace. It didn't cost me $10, but uh, a couple zip ties, a piece of plastic, keeps the coil from moving back and forth if you happen to bump into something. So like I said, today we're not going to go out and I'm not going to walk along and you hear a ding, 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 and I'm going to get down with my trowel and dig. I've watched some of those videos, and uh, they don't excite Grandpa much. But uh, I've done a little bit beach detecting, found some pennies and nickels. And I even found a couple little plastic shovels from a beach toy. Don't know how I got those. Of course, they were laying right on top, because when I went over them, there was no metal in the shovel. <clears throat> so, uh, but everybody should try and get one of these. So tell your relatives that uh, you'd really like one. It's a nice.